Hello, my name is Angela Kilgore, and I am the birth registry manager here at Parkland Health and Hospital Systems. We are pleased that you've chosen our facility to deliver your babies or baby. I'd like to take an opportunity to acquaint you with the birth certificate process. Our goal is to inform you of what to expect as we prepare to send your child's information to the state for his or her legal birth certificate. Our hours of operations are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Weekends and holidays, 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Our phone numbers are 469-419-4902 for the sixth floor and 469-419-5625 for the seventh floor. Our office locations are sixth floor, room 6443, seventh floor, room 7443. What to expect after delivery as it pertains to your birth process. A birth register will conduct a bedside interview sometime after delivery of your child. The birth register will be seeking the following information from you. Your full name, first, middle, last, any hyphens of the parents, if there are any. A date of birth, place of birth for both parents. Home address of both parents. Social Security numbers, if applicable. Baby's first, middle, and last name, any suffix, if applicable. The birth registrar will provide you with information regarding entry into the State Immunization Register Program, better known as MTRAC, where you can opt in or out. The registry allows you to access your child's immunization information when needed. In addition, information will be provided to you regarding the application for the Social Security card for your child. Our birth registrar will prepare a birth letter or birth verification fax for you to review and sign. If any corrections are needed, this is the time to point them out. Otherwise, your signature indicates the information is correct and is ready to be handed off into the state system. If you are legally married, then only one parent needs to sign the birth letter. If you are not legally married to the biological father, both parents must be present with proper identification in order for the biological father to be placed on the birth certificate. This applies to same-sex marriages and surrogacies. If there is any adoption involved, please make the birth register aware of the situation. The completion of the birth certificate must be completed before the mother is discharged so that we can legally release your baby's information to the state, which allows you to obtain a legal birth certificate and be entered into the state's immunization registry if you've opted in. A social security card will be generated for your child and will be mailed to your home address. For unmarried parents, the father will be educated on his rights and responsibilities regarding the acknowledgement of paternity. It is important that this document is signed. Not only does it give the child access to the father's heritage benefit, it gives the father the legal rights to the child. Prior to discharge, you will be provided the following documents. Verification of birth facts, a copy of the acknowledgement of paternity, if applicable, an application form for the local vital statistics office to facilitate you obtaining a copy of your child's birth certificate. If you have any additional questions about this process, our birth registers are here to assist you. The key takeaways are, have proper ID so that all forms are filled out and completed correctly, Make sure your child's birth facts are completed and correct before signing. Congratulations on your new bundle of joy.